Rui Lopez opening, Morphe defense, Florizides F system, 10.D4 re8. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. Black capitalized on their chances in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop must choose between exchanging and withdrawing. BA4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. NF6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. B7 develops the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle. 1 rupee centralizes the rook and protects the e4 pawn. B5 gains space on the queen side and forces the bishop to the b3 square. BB3 is forced, but the bishop is well placed because it attacks the f7 square. D6 defends the e5 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. C3 prepares the d2 d4 pawn break and clears the c2 square for the light squared bishop. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. H3 prevents black from developing the light squared bishop to g4, which would pin the knight and make it hard for white to play d4. Fianchetto move bb7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. d4 gains space in the center, allows the dark squared bishop to develop and attacks the e5 pawn. Re8 puts the rook on a central file and vacates the f8 square for the bishop. Games master. It is the final book action. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is incorrect. By pinning a knight, this increases pressure. It is quite good. This misses an opportunity to kick a bishop. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This exposes a knight assault. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This reveals an attack that poses a threat to a rook. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to defend a rook that was under attack. It is a mistake. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This threatens to double the pawns in front of the king. It is best. The knight is now sufficiently protected. It is ideal. There is a better way to get a bishop to safety than this. It is incorrect. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This let the adversary to threaten a knight and win a tempo. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to threaten a knight and gain a tempo. It is incorrect. This misses a great but hard to find move. It is incorrect. This enables the adversary to strike a bishop. It is incorrect. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. That's good. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. This threatens to fork pieces. It is a great move. This prevents the adversary from forking pieces. It is ideal. As a result, the adversary can take an open file containing a rook. It is incorrect. 
This defends the attacked bishop. This is the only good move. This was a game-changing move, giving black a winning position. This threatens to win a queen. It is a great move. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is quite good. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This wins material. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This wastes a chance to protect a knight who was being attacked. It is incorrect. This poses a checkmate threat. It is ideal. This puts the opposing rook in a position to lose control of the open file. It is ideal. This is winning stuff. It is ideal. This protects the attacked pawn. This is the start of the end game and white is losing. It is forced. It was a free pawn there. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. It is quite good. This exposes an attack, threatening a queen. It is best. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. Black capitalized on their chances in the middle game. This skewers the opponent's pieces. It is best. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. Black capitalized on their chances in the middle game.